All right, guys, we're now moving on to what we call the upper torso exercises. If you just watched the first video, we went through the neck stabilizer exercises. And just to reiterate, you're not going to build a ton of muscle with these exercises. They're simply designed to help you with your posture and to help you hold your adjustments a little bit better. So if you've got your brochures that we gave you in the office that outline both the neck, the upper torso, and the lower torso exercises, sometimes they're a little confusing on here. So that's why we created these videos, just that you guys could see it. And I want to make sure that you're doing these because they really will help you hold your adjustments and they'll help with your posture and your alignment. So I'm going to describe the exercise and then I'm going to do it for you, okay? So when we're doing the upper torso exercises, even though I'm moving my arms, you'll say, well, those are muscles for your arms, Dr. George. And that is true. And for some shoulder rehab, we use these same exercises. But when you're doing these exercises and you're moving your arms and you're moving your legs, you have to shunt stabilize with your back muscles, which is where some of the postural control comes in. Remember, we all live right here. We all live right here. We type here, we drive here, we relax here. My goal is to try and bring those shoulders back. It's going to give you more energy. It's going to help your posture. It's going to help you hold your adjustments better and give you less pain. So we want to go from here to here. And one of the ways to do that is to utilize what we call the shunt stabilizing muscles. So right now we're going to do upper torso exercises. Again, they're simple, they're easy, they do not take long, and I want you to do them. So here's the first one. It's called the side lateral. And again, we just assigned names to these. If you ask a therapist or if you ask someone in the gym, they might call it something else. But we're calling these side laterals. So the starting position for the first one is literally hands at your side, elbows slightly bent, your hands are about the level of your hip, and that's about where you're going to start. And there is some value in doing these in front of the mirror to make sure that you do them right until you can feel what muscles are being utilized. So from this position, with my elbows bent, I'm simply going to bring my arms up to 90 degrees. We don't need to go any higher than that, right? You're just flapping your wings like a bird. But we call them side laterals. And again, you're going to do about three sets of 10 here. Here's the key. I want to make sure that with my elbow bent and my wrist at my side, my hand is coming out to the level of my ears or behind. I don't want your hands out here. If I see any of you doing this in the gym, I'm going to kick your butt. I want you coming out to the side. So there's a slight bend in my elbow, slight bend in my wrist, and the level of my wrist should be at or behind my ears. And you should feel this up high. You should feel this behind you. So again, these are side laterals, three sets of ten, and you don't need to be going fast, and you certainly don't need to go any higher than that. Okay? Those are side laterals. Now, with the arm raises, we simply go from the same level. We start with our arms stretched out, but your palms are up. All right? You're in this position right here, and you're going to go from here above your head. And the key with this one, again, is that my bicep is at the level of my ear. I don't want this out front, and I don't want you guys bending just to try and get this exercise in. So you're going to go from this position right here, arms are already out at 90 degrees, to straight above your head. And again, if all you can do is here for the first week, and then you get closer to the point where you can actually touch your hands and touch your ears, that's fine. Same application, three sets of ten, nice and smooth. So once again, side laterals, side laterals, arm raises. You're just going to go straight above your head, and you don't have to go fast. Okay? Last but not least, there's three of these just like with the other ones. There's always three by three by three. So the last one is going to be reverse circles. And a lot of you guys have done these before, but the key is we start in this position and you make your arm as straight as you can, like you're painting at the end with a paintbrush is what your fingers are. And you're going to make small circles backwards, right? We're just making small circles backwards. And this doesn't seem like a big deal, but I promise you, for most of you, within 20 to 30 seconds, it's going to burn on the backside, and that's what we want. We want to pull you up and back. So you're making small circles backwards like this, for about 20 seconds. Don't even try and count how many, just, just time it, 20 seconds. Right? As soon as it starts to burn, you go a little longer, keeping your head back, and then relax. So just to recap, here's what your side lateral looks like. Okay? Here's what your arm raise looks like. Okay? And last but not least, you're going to do reverse circles. Palms are up, you're going backwards, not forward. And you're not sweeping. It's just a small, tight motion like this. I don't really care how fast you go, but it's going to burn in about 10 or 15 seconds. So get up to 20 seconds if you can and relax. All right? That's the upper torso exercises. Practice them. You're going to show them to us in the office. All right? Thank you.